My name is Taido, Chotu Taido. I am on an adventure across Nigeria. I'll be going to other cities in Nigeria and it's going to be fun. I am now in Oshogbo, the capital city of Oshun State. And my friend, Abiodun, is here to make my visit adventurous. Hello, Toto Taido. I welcome you to Oshun State. Thank you. There are many cocoa farms in this area. I will take you to one of the farms where we will learn about the cocoa plants. That sounds interesting. I have never seen a cocoa farm before. Let's go. Coco is ripe. My money has come. Good morning, sir. Good morning, <laughs> sir. Good morning, my children. Sir, you are very happy today. May we share your happiness and celebrate it with you? Of course, my children, yes. But, sir, what exactly are we celebrating? <laughs> it is time to harvest my cocoa. That means I'm getting a lot of money. That is what we are celebrating. Wow! Please tell us all about Coco and why it will bring you so much money. With all pleasure, my children. <laughs> With all pleasure. <coughs> the Coco tree is not the tallest tree you can see, but it grows up to between 4 and 7 meters tall. Coco tree is grown in West Africa, South America, and other tropical countries. A mature cocoa tree produces cocoa pod. Inside the pod, you will find the cocoa beans. Sir, is that the beans they cook for us to eat? No, people don't cook cocoa beans to eat. The beans are removed and spread out in the sun to dry. When dry, it is sold to chocolate factories where it is mixed with sugar, milk, flour and eggs to make chocolate bars. Wow, I love chocolates. So, all chocolates come from your cocoa farm? No, my son. There are other cocoa farms in other parts of the world. My farm alone cannot produce all the cocoa in the world. Where is that smoke coming from? A smoke? There is no smoke without fire. It's a bush fire. It's coming to my farm. Ha! 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 I am finished! Ha! Oh, how can we help him? If the farm is destroyed by fire, there will be no chocolates for us anymore. Yay! 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 Help me! Somebody help me! There is no fire on the face of this earth that will destroy your farm unless I give it permission. Please, please don't give permission. This fire must not destroy my farm. Mm -hmm. Now move back. Let me deal with this fire. But first, promise me you will give me half of your cocoa harvest. Ha! Ah, half of my harvest? <laughs> you want to kill me? Ha! Ah, all right then. You don't want me to quench this fire? No, 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 please, please. All right, all right. I will give you a chicken. A me chicken? For me? Just a chicken? To quench this massive fire? Are you joking? I will come all the way here to quench this fire just for a miserable little chicken? But medicine man, it's the fat chicken I am going to give you. One of my biggest chickens. I have been feeding it for the past three rainy seasons. I don't work for chickens. Uh, please, please wait, wait, wait. I'll, I'll give you two chickens. I can see that you don't want me to quench this fire. Let me do it. Uh, please, 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 please wait. All right, all right. I'll give you two chickens and a goat. A fat goat. A female goat that will give birth to more goat for you. Mm. This fire is too much for two chickens and a goat. You have to give me more than that. And act quickly before the fire destroys your cocoa farm. Ah, what else do you want? I have already promised you all I have. I asked for one half of your cocoa harvest. Ha! Ah. <laughs> you have finished me. 
Do they not say half bread is better than none? If you have half of your cocoa farm, is that not better than having the whole farm destroyed by fire? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. I will share my cocoa harvest with you. Equally? Hmm. I will give you one quarter of it. You, you are not ready. You are not ready. Okay, 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 okay. I will share it with you equally. Uh, uh, hurry, hurry! Please, this fire is spreading fast. Patience, patience, man. This fire will be off before you know it. I am he who give command to water and fire and they obey. And then command, command this fire to stop now. Fire, I command you, stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is not an ordinary fire. Mm, we need more fortunes to quench it. Promise me you will give me the entire cocoa harvest and I will put out this fire. Ha! Ha! My entire cocoa harvest! That is all I have worked for all my life? Ah! Are you sure you can even put off the fire? Your beards are already burnt. Yeah, yeah. Ah, Babag. This is no ordinary fire. Oh, oh, what am I going to do now? Who is going to help me? We are here to help you. Church is time. Now you can harvest your cocoa and there'll be chocolates for us and other children around the world. Hello friends, I am now in Lokoja, the capital city of Kogu State. My friend Usman is here to meet me. Tutu Taido, I welcome you to Lokoja. Do you know what makes this city very popular? No, please tell me. It is right here in Lokoja that the two great rivers meet. They are River Niger and River Benue. Their meeting point is called the Confluence. Wow, wow, wow! Can we go and see the Confluence? Of course! Let's go! Here we are. These are the two largest rivers in West Africa. And this is where they meet. Wow, wow, wow. That is truly amazing. Yes. And if you look at the River Benue, you will notice that it is green in color. And River Niger is brown. Hello, friend. Are you going diving? Actually, I'm going snorkeling. I do this every week. That sounds interesting. What are these you're wearing? I am wearing a diving mask and a snorkel. May we come with you? Yes, but you need diving masks and snorkels too. Yes, we are ready. But can you tell us why you go snorkeling? Snorkeling is fun, but I also learn about the different animals that live in these rivers. Animals? I thought only fishes live in the rivers. No, there are many other animals that live in the rivers. That sounds great. Let's go. What animal is this? It's a manatee. Manatee? Yes. Let's get out of here fast. Don't worry. He won't attack us. Manatees are harmless and friendly. Hello, manatee. How are you? I am fine, but may I ask what you guys are doing here? These are my friends, Usman and Tutu Taido. I have brought them here to meet you and know more about you. Are you sure you won't harm us? No, I am a very gentle and friendly animal. Please, Manati, 
Tell us about yourself. Yes, we want to know. I am sure you can feel that this water is warm. I live in warm water. I cannot survive where the water is too cold. Oh, true. The water is warm. And I can travel up to 60 kilometers every day. Wow, wow, wow. Wait a minute. What happened? Where did you go? I went up to breathe. To breathe? But you live underwater. Yes, but I am a mammal, so I cannot breathe underwater. So I have to go up for air to breathe. Ha! I can do different tricks underwater. Really? Please show us some tricks. Oh, good! My friends are here. Let's show them some tricks. Wow, wow! That is amazing! We manatees are very intelligent and we can learn new tricks really quickly. Okay, let me teach you the turtle sidle dance. Mm -hmm. 